everybody, this is Rose of Sharon, and I'm back again with another movie review. It was unexpected for me to go to a movie not really knowing that I was going to a movie. <laughs> I thought that when I went to see Jane Silent Bob that I was going to be seeing them or hearing them do stand-up. Uh, that was not the case. And I wasn't disappointed. Oh, no, no, no. Even though this movie had everything I've come to expect and it was ridiculously meta, I mean ludicrously meta, and it was absolutely hysterical. They even did an homage to Duck Soup, which I don't know if anybody else got. I think I'm the only person that got the Marx Brothers joke because I've said, Marx Brothers! And you know, everybody's like, yeah, you're weird, but... That whole mirror scene, oh my god, I've, I've been longing to see someone do it, and Kevin really did it justice <laughs> playing against himself, but um, basically it's just a, a little bit of a tongue-in-cheek kind of nod to reboots and remakes <laughs> in, in such a way that it's absolutely hilarious, and of course Matt Damon shows up as Loki again. I'm like, yes, because I love Dogma. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. And <laughs> even as a Protestant, people look at me like, you, you like Dogma? I love Dogma. It's, it's, it's a great film. It just, it has the respect for, for God and um, the establishment. Although religion, I think, itself tears a lot of people's lives apart, and that's not what Jesus wanted. Just saying. Um, <laughs> that was never what he intended. Um... As far as the movie is concerned, if you have a chance to see the reboot with other people of like mind and, and like uh, <laughs> kind of mindset, do it. Because, oh my God, I was laughing so hard. I, my, as you could tell, my voice is kind of worn because I was just laughing and cheering. And uh, I'm not going to give away the, cam the big cameo because the big cameo is going to make you cry. And if you don't cry, you have no soul. So <laughs> just saying... Um, I was able to get a recording from the actual event, and I got in trouble because I heard ma'am, ma'am behind me. I'm like, crap. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> mm -hmm. F you. I mean, that's what I really wanted to say, but I thought, no, I'm too nice to say F you to people. I don't know, because that's just not, unless I'm on the road and they cut me off, then I'll tell them to go screw themselves. If Yeah, because I don't deal well with people who don't know how to drive. Uh, <laughs> Beyond that, I just thought that the, the movie was absolutely hysterical. I get five stars. I mean, it's the best of Jay and Silent Bob. And, of course, I haven't seen Method in the Madness or Madness in the Method or whatever it's called. I've got it on DVD. It was direct-to-video or direct-to-DVD. I didn't know they still did such things, but apparently they do. But uh, hoping to, to see that fairly soon, do a review. Um, two thumbs up. Just, it was flipping amazing. It was awesome. It was incredible. Like I said, it, it was the best um, Jay and Silent Bob I've seen in a good long time. <laughs> and apparently the family is very talented. I'm not going to say why. That's just a little hint ski for you fans out there who might get what I'm kind of implying. That's all I got to say. So <laughs> let me rest my voice a little bit. <laughs> Until next time, live long and prosper. Ciao, Susie. <laughs>